Hey, beloved, it's Nate Oilo with Agape First Ministries, and I wanted to take a minute and sing another song for you. This is a song that I wrote, I would imagine, about 15 years ago in my secret place time. Uh, and I haven't recorded it. I haven't performed it a lot. It was just something that I received from the Lord, and it was really more, I think, maybe just to encourage me for that season, but now I want to release it to encourage you as well. It's about God and it's about his love for us. And I was in a season of crying out to the Lord and um, you know, I tend to be in <laughs> seasons of crying out to the Lord. And um, I, so I was in the Psalms, uh, just praying out of the Psalms. There's a lot of really great biblical language there to cry out to God with. And so I was in the Psalms, but I was also in the Song of Solomon. And the Song of Solomon is one of my all-time favorite books in the Bible because it's about the love of our bridegroom Jesus with his, for his bride. And it's just line upon line love, you know? It's so amazing, the, the poetry. And, and one of the lines that was really speaking to me, one of the verses uh, during that time was, uh, I think it's in chapter four, Jesus looks at the bride and he says, um, turn your eyes away from me. He says, with just one glance of your eyes, I'm undone. Your, your weak love conquers my heart. And that just blew me away as I started to think about, you know, just one glance in his direction from me. And, and he's undone, the uncreated God. It's just such an amazing statement about how our weak love moves the heart of God. And so the Lord was reminding me in that season, Nate, if you forget, which we do, right? We forget um, God's love for us. He said, when you forget, just listen to me. Just push pause and listen to my voice. And I will always remind you that I love you. And that's the amazing thing of God. He's so patient with us. He's, he's totally other than in his patience. He never grows tired of telling us that he loves us. Um, so that was really encouraging for me because, you know, like I said, we all have those moments, those weak moments where we forget um, and, and we, we were struggling and the Lord says, just listen, just listen to my voice. John the Baptist got it. You know, he said, uh, it's in hearing the voice of the bridegroom, it's in listening to his voice that my joy is complete. So he found the fullness of joy in listening to God. And it's my prayer and encouragement to you today that you would just push pause and, and tune in to the voice of the Father, to the voice of your bridegroom, and just listen and let him sing his love over you today. So, you know what? Just uh, sit back and, and you can put this on the background or whatever, but, but listen to the voice of the Lord as he sings over you today. The song is called Listen to Me. So come to me, come to me. I know you are hungry, so come to me, come to me. Yes. 
listen to me and I'll tell you Listen to me And I'll tell you Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he is waiting and watching, watching for you. Jesus is calling, calling, oh sinner, come home. He'll never grow tired of telling you he loves you. He'll never grow tired of telling you he loves you. No, he'll never grow tired of telling you. Tell me.
I pray that you would release your love to everyone watching this. I pray right now for waves and waves of love to wash over them. Holy Spirit, pour the love of the Father into their hearts. Fill them up, God. Thank you for your patience. Thank you that you are long-suffering, that you never, ever grow tired in telling us just how much you love us. And I pray that we would live loved today. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.